Okay, so for many years I've been fishing with a lot of people that have had uh, ice tents. I've always typically went in the shack, but I love the tent. I uh, love moving around. Uh, so with that, we've used the buddy heater a lot. Things I don't like about it, I've probably burnt three lines off on it just uh, in a tight space when uh, you don't have a lot of rooms. I've used the clam a lot, so I um, haven't been the biggest fan. I find the propane can be a bit finicky. Uh, I find there's a lot of condensation in the tent. I don't overly, like I use tip-ups, so I don't overly like that when you can't just peek out the window and, uh, and see. I find it's quite expensive on a really cold, like a minus 30 day when you got some wind. You got that thing cranked, you can burn through like a 20 pounds of propane in a day, no problem. So last year I bought a, a diesel heater kind of at the end of the year. Um, took it out a couple times, it worked great. I did some uh, configuring on the ice tent to uh, get it sealed up a little bit better. So we're going to set it up, I'll show you how I configure that. We're going to kick it on, I'm going to tell you what I think of it and uh, you can make up your own mind. But so far I've used it a few times, I love it. So anyways, let's get at it. Okay, got the diesel heater, got the wire running in. Got a 60 amp hour battery that's gonna run everything. I've never ran uh, my Mega Live with all this running, so I don't know if I'm gonna get into any interference, but uh, this is a trial, we'll see how it works. Uh, so yeah. All you gotta do is hit power. I'm gonna hook my thing up here. I'll kind of show you what I made here. So just take that off. I'll just hook it in my thing for now. So Made this, it's got this little slat through here that's gonna feed down through there. Make sure it's in there nice and good. Down all the way. And then that just gets pressed all the way on there. So a lot of people put clamps on these ends. I just put a zip tie and you don't have to go crazy tight but it just kind of allows it just to pop on and stay in place. That's that. Alright, so this is how we got this set up. This is running at three right now. The nice thing is, is with this extra tube and like, I can blow it in so it's not like specific to one hot spot on the floor. Like a buddy heater, you always get like a melted spot around. Another cool thing is, is like I had my minnows here, so I just pulled it down, blew it on my frozen minnows for a couple minutes and boom, ready to go. I guess buddy heaters kind of do that too, but um, anyways, yeah, I got this up. It's just kind of blowing heat in here. I'm gonna zip up and see how toasty it gets. So yeah, the uh, the heater's working good. I just got on the low setting just to take the edge off. Um, it's turned to two right now. It goes up to six. So if I get a little chilled, I can crank it up. But there's some bit of heat in here, and I think if I had some snow to put around the shack, it'd be nice and airtight and. Like this tent isn't really even insulated at all, but as long as the wind's out and you got that heat pump and it's good. So another good use for this, it's like the dryer vents in the bathrooms at a restaurant. Nice when you wash your hands, you can just dry them off quick. All right, so a little overview of the diesel heater in the ice tent. Some of the things I like about it. Um, more space in there. I don't have to worry about the actual um, buddy heater on the ground in there. Um, I'm not going to burn anything on it. I can use it to dry things uh, pretty easy, like my hands, just that blowing air is nice. Uh, it's. I think it's insanely more efficient than a buddy heater. Uh, I maybe burnt like oh, probably two $2.50 worth of diesel. And I had that thing running for, for I don't know, I guess it would have been about seven hours. I had it on like turned up high for a while, but I'd say the, 
probably over half of the day I had it running on um, two out of six. Um, I just didn't want to melt the floor in there. If I would have had like pads down on the on the ground, I would have cranked it right up and it would have probably got pretty toasty in there. Um, but I was comfy. It was nice to be able to like kick my feet up off the ground and have that blowing air right on them. Uh, but make sure you make like, I think having the, uh, the good cover kind of like I showed you in the window is the way to go. Uh, last year I had it running underneath the tent and it just it melts and it just makes a mess. So make sure that vent um, is not on the ground. It'll melt anything it touches and just get it up through the window. It's not hot enough that it would ever melt the tent, especially when you're using it outside in the winter. But yeah, that's the way uh, I used it and I like it. And if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.